Today is Wednesday night and I gotta start kind of cleaning up because on Friday morning they're gonna the builders are gonna come and I need to clear this entire room out and it's still a mess. I try to clear out some stuff but new stuff just keeps on coming. And look at my plants. Yep. I gotta start moving all this shit out. And it's not fun. Gotta pack up a lot of stuff. Oh my god. If not, they can't build. Maybe I'll do a time lapse. Let's see if they allow. I'm pretty sure they will. Last wall left to move. Oh my god, this is the biggest pile. I left it for last because I really have no room to move it to. I don't even know where should I move it to. Damn, but I, it needs to be cleared this room before the builders come tomorrow. Okay, wish me luck. Clean slate. Look at this. All cleaned out and ready for tomorrow's build out. Hopefully California Closets does an amazing job, but I think they will. I'm excited to see the outcome. I'll show you guys. Alright, see these stains on the walls? It's all from the scraping, like moving around the shoe boxes and everything. So I don't want to repaint it and I don't have time because they're coming tomorrow to install. So I looked it up how to clean it, spot clean. So just take a regular eraser and just erase it. See, it's pretty good. And then I'm going to wipe it off. It's actually really good. Surprised. Look how nice it is. Look, almost invisible. Nice, right? And that's it. So the first thing is we start with the bare room, which is what you have. We're gonna drill a steel rail onto whatever what we're building on and we're gonna hang the closet like a kind of like a kitchen cabinet. There's three different looks um, and we're definitely not gonna go for that in there. It's gonna be one of these two. This is okay. the most economical. Everything's off the floor um, and there's no backing on it so you see the walls behind it. Okay. This is kind of middle of the road where everything comes down to the floor but we still keep no backing on it. So you'll see the white walls behind it mm -hmm. or if you paint it or put whatever uh, wallpaper on it. And then the third is if we do add the backing to it. The backing is where you're gonna increase more of the cost on this and mm -hmm. if you're doing plain white, it's really not a big deal if you don't Okay, that. you're coming in. I'll try to keep my hands out of there. Here's where you're coming in. I'm kind of creating a little bit of dead space here so I can create this makes it look nice and seamless over here all of your clothing will be behind the partitions and nice and tucked away and that way over here these are 32 inch wide shelves they're great three stacks of sweaters three stacks of jeans three or four pairs of shoes for you four or five pairs of shoes for you across on a shelf down here we may want to think about doing something under here but it's gonna it's going to um, decrease your hanging space so we'll look at that in a second I can. Okay. Oh. Okay. So I've been working on this project for a while, I mean almost like two years I think. And I think I'm ready to show you guys. Come on. Welcome to my brand new walk-in closet by California Closets. Like super excited for my walk-in closet. It's been in the works for a while. I mean, mainly because I've been traveling so much and not having time to set up appointment and get everything like the way I want it. So now it's completed. It's empty now, but it's gonna be filled up real soon. So this side I think I'm gonna put like shoes, handbags, and maybe some toys, I don't know, I'm not sure yet, but definitely lots of shoes. These sections is great for shoes. I can also like make it bigger, smaller, but I think I'll keep it this size. And this, I need lots of hanging. 
hanging space. I tend to not like to fold my clothes. So if, if I fold it, I don't want to wear it because it's wrinkled and I don't know what's available. So most of my clothes is going to be hung. And up there is the best part. I'll show you guys later, but I'm going to put in my luggages in there so it can hide away when I'm not traveling. But that's like an important aspect because, you know, NYC apartments, there's not much space. So that was a great call. And look at these. These little hooks is for when I'm hanging something long or like um, if I'm going to shoot something. I think it's great. These are even better. It's longer and I can, when I travel, I can like pick out all my clothes and be like, okay, this is what I'm going to wear, this is what I'm going to wear. And it's perfect for like preparing for my trips. There's two of these. So amazing. I love these. Alright, and over here, there's some... You know, little storage. I don't know, maybe I put some accessories or like my beauty stuff. I can even put shoes in there too. There's two of these. I gotta make the best out of like every little inch, right? So I think that's a great one too. And then up here, I can maybe put like, could be like my mini vanity. I'm not sure yet. Everything is just up in the air. And of course, over here, I'm gonna put some plants or some little trinkets and stuff. Be super cute. This closet came with the apartment, so there's not much. I'll show you guys what's inside already, but it's been here, so this is not part of the California closets. Over here, you can see it's gonna be for like my beauty stuff, hats, accessories, and all that little stuff. I really love these. Like, I put hats already. You see my Supreme hats. A bunch of stuff already and great over here maybe some handbags or a little miscellaneous stuff I'm not really sure but I'm so excited thank you so much California Closets for making this happen it's like super amazing I can't wait to show you guys when it's all filled up <laughs>